Hello, if you own an Ecovax robot vacuum, such as the D-Bot Osmo 920, you would use the Ecovax Home app to control the vacuum. This app, like many other smart devices apps, works through internet. You may want to use an app or software that does not depend on internet. In this video, we will discuss how we can use Home Assistant to control your Ecovax robot vacuum without internet. First, we need to set up Bumper, which is a standalone and self-hosted implementation of the central server used by Ecovax robot vacuums. Bumper works with many Ecovax robot vacuums. For this video, we will use DBOT Osmo 920 with Bumper. To set up Bumper, we will install Bumper Docker image on a Linux machine. It is also possible to install the Docker image on a Windows machine. The Bumper repository on GitHub contains the Docker Compose file to install Bumper as you can see on the screen. We will not discuss how Docker is set up on a Linux or Windows machine. There are many good sources that explain how to do this. Now we will clone the Bumper Git repository on the Linux machine using the repository URL. You may also download the zip and extract it instead of cloning the repository. Let's open a terminal in our Linux home folder and clone the bumper git repository using the command provided in the description. Now we have the repository cloned in the bumper subfolder. The example slash docker compose subfolder of the repository contains the docker compose file and the nginx proxy configuration. We only need the example folder and its subfolders, so we will delete all other files and folders of the repository. Next, we will go to the Docker Compose folder and open the Docker Compose file with the text editor. We need to update two values in the file. First is the time zone identifier for your location. You can get this identifier from the time zone database link given in description. I have set the time zone identifier for Pakistan. Second value is the bumper announce IP which needs to be set to IP address of your Linux machine. You need to make sure that the IP address of your machine is static otherwise you may lose connection with bumper. Now we will open a terminal in docker compose folder to run the docker compose command. It is important to run the command in this folder because paths in docker compose file are relative to this folder. Let's run the docker compose command. This command is given in description. After a while, the docker container for bumper will be downloaded and ready to use. We can use the docker container list command to list all docker containers. We now see two new containers. One is the bumper container and the other is nginx container that is used by bumper. We can open the Linux machine IP address with port 8007 in a web browser to access bumper server status page. As this is a new bumper instance, there is no vacuum connected to it. Next step is to modify the configuration of our Wi-Fi router to reroute all Ecovac server addresses to bumper. I am using OpenWRT on my router. The DSCP and DNS configuration UI can be used for rerouting. The four Ecovac server addresses can be rerouted to Linux machine IP address as seen on the screen. Now we will save the changes and reboot the router for the changes to take effect. Once the router is rebooted, the Ecovac robot vacuum will try to connect to Ecovac server. If the rerouting is successful, we will see the vacuum connected to bumper on the bumper server status page. For DBOT Osmo 920, we can see the vacuum connection with MQTT server and we can also see the vacuum listed in the ports table. Next, we need to set up the Ecovax integration in Home Assistant. I am running Home Assistant as Docker container on same machine where the bumper container is running. First, we need to make sure that advanced mode is enabled in Home Assistant. We can open the user settings of Home Assistant user and enable the advanced mode. Next, we will open devices and services page of Home Assistant. On the integrations tab, we will click add integration button and then type Ecovax in the search field. Then we will select Ecovax from the results to open the Ecovax dialog. 
We will select self-hosted option from the more dropdown and click next. Now we will provide details of our bumper instance. Our bumper instance does not need authentication. So the username can have any valid email address and password can have any password. Country will be automatically set based on your home assistant configuration. Then you need to set the rest URL and the MQTT URL as seen here. The formats of these URLs are given in description. After providing details, we will click submit button. We may get the error seen on the screen. To solve this, we will uncheck the verify MQTT SL certificate checkbox and click submit again. If all goes well, we will see success screen, which will ask to provide location of the Osmo 920 already connected to bumper. We will select the area and click finish to add the integration. The Ecovax integration has been added and we can see one device. If we click on the device link, we get the device information screen for our vacuum. There's one thing we need to fix. That is the device name is set to the email address we provided while adding bumper integration. To fix this, we will click on the device name. Then we will click on the settings button. In the name box, we will type dbot Osmo 920. Then we will click update button. Now the device name is showing as we expect. The new integration is added to default dashboard of Home Assistant automatically. Let's see what we have got. We can see the dbot Osmo 920 vacuum under bedroom area. If we click the vacuum name, we get the status and controls for the vacuum. We have controls to start, pause, stop, locate, and to return home. We can see the current fan speed and we can also change the fan speed. The attributes box shows the rooms that are currently defined in the vacuum map and the battery percentage is also shown. If we go back to the dashboard, we see another issue. All the sensors have the email address like the device name that we fixed earlier. To fix this, we will go back to Ecovax integration in devices and services. We will open the vacuum device again. If you notice on top of device screen, the email address is shown. We need to change it, so we will click edit icon. In the name box, we will type dbot Osmo 920 and we will click update. Home Assistant will now ask whether you need to rename the entity IDs of the vacuum entities. We will click rename to confirm this change. If we now go back to dashboard, the names of all sensors have been changed to start with name of the vacuum. Now we have bumper setup to work with Home Assistant and we can use this integration to control our Ecovax vacuum. However, the controls available are limited. We do not have any options to clean specific rooms or to clean custom areas. In order to have more control to clean specific rooms or custom areas, we can use the Lovelace vacuum map card. I will do another video to explain how to set up this card to work with Ecovax robot vacuum so we can clean specific rooms or custom areas. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. See you in another video.